Virginia's DMV is pulling Confederate flag plates off the roadways. Thursday's written order from a federal judge should bury the issue. But as the recall begins, the legal battle could start back up. Ten on your side's Matt Gregory has the latest from Portsmouth. Matt? In July, a federal judge rejected a previous ruling that had allowed the sons of Confederate veterans to have a license plate that bear the Confederate battle flag. Now, as the repeal process begins for those 1,700 plates, it looks like the timeline is a little uncertain, and that could cause supporters to try to fight it out. In June, Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe announced he would lead the charge to remove the Confederate battle flag from specialty license plates. We got to be unified. We got to bring folks together. And it's a divisive symbol. It doesn't need to be in our license plates. Since that time, supporters of the flag, especially those that have the Sons of Confederate Veterans license plates, have fought to keep their tags. In July, a federal judge ruled that the tags are not free speech. And this week, Virginia began the repeal process. The injunction has now been dissolved, so DMV will begin the administrative process process of recalling and replacing existing Sons of Confederate Veterans license plates with a new design that complies with the Virginia law. The DMV says the new plates will not cost anything to the tag holders for replacement and they have 30 days to remove the current tags before they become invalid. But the timeline for that can't begin yet. I work on a redesign of the license plate that would comply with the law and not contain the Confederate battle flag. Um, the process of redesigning and manufacturing new plates obviously takes time, but we're working as quickly as possible to get this accomplished. Is this the last folks will hear on Confederate flag tags? The attorney for the Sons of Confederate Veterans, Fred Taylor, sent an email to Ten on Your Side Thursday night. In that email, he says he anticipates his clients will challenge any such recall from the DMV. Today, to see if he filed any legal motions, but he was out of the office. In Portsmouth, Matt Gregory, Ten on Your Side. And elsewhere in Virginia, a partial ban on the Confederate flag. Central Virginia City recently ruled the flag cannot fly on city-owned property. Property Danville City Council made it official last night. Prior to the vote, Attorney General Mark Herring sent the city an official opinion on the issue, saying the flag could come down because the granite base the flagpole sits on recognizes the historical significance of the building and not a particular war or veterans.